Hey everybody, it's Ed with Dual Brain MTG. I'm here with uh, Nate, Dr. Dragon Kick. We're chilling in the Congressional Garden and uh, seeing as how it's our first time hanging out, you know, we're uh, just chatting here about, uh, you know, our past and everything. We're nerding out. Yeah, hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling him because he's, uh, he's big into legends, I'm telling him my story of how I pulled a tabernacle for my birthday. Josh, I know you're watching. You can confirm. I got the picture to prove it. <laughs> and uh, I was telling him how I'm jealous because uh, I still I sold a tabernacle. Uh, now that there's like a semi map sheet, I know I sold chunks of packs, including there was a tabernacle there. That, that's fine. And this is why he had me open the pack. He's like pulling my tabernacle. <laughs> that's right. Pulling the tabernacle. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Made me so nervous opening that pack. Oh my god. So, you know me. I started in '94 with Revised. And around Ice Age, Fallen Empires, and Chronicles, like everybody else, you know, I kind of left it for a few years. I yeah. came back during Urza Saga, and for a little while, then I came back for real during Alora. You know, the first uh, the Gold Border cards came back, and the first time Mythics were around, Planeswalkers were one set later. Uh -huh. Yeah, and around that time, I got a five packs of Arabian Nights for a grand, and wow. that's what started my. Uh, eBay store and getting really into it and intense with, you know, investing and that whole market thing. Yeah. Wow. So what about you, Nate? Me, um, <clears throat> 1994, revised, uh, there was a couple Arabian Nights and Legends packs in the store that was near my, uh, it was basically at Springfield Mall in, in Northern Virginia. Uh, couldn't get into those because they were like $34 and as like an 11 year old <laughs> it, that was also like a super soaker 2000 with the book bag so you have to choose um but basically it was it was cool um I slowly I think with with yeah around the early 2000s it was kind of that lull and uh, got away from stuff but always had it in the back of my mind like I need to open up an alpha mm. deck once in my life like that I need to get one now, even on the East Coast, they were super rare. You could never find yep. anything. I saw one beta starter in the store called Another Universe. They had like a giant predator statue that was like six foot. <laughs> That's awesome. And they wanted 200 bucks and it was like 1995. <sighs> and then that was like, okay, Sega or... But, mm -hmm. but I think like many people in the 90s, we were like not poor... But we didn't have anywhere near the money. Like, I didn't even have Nintendo growing up. so Pulling a dual land was like, oh, my yeah. God, I got this $20 bill out of a pack. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, But eventually, cool story, I was on eBay 2011. I, I saw an alpha starter, and, and I had just uh, – no, maybe it was 2008. Take it back. 2008, just started my work at my job, uh, and my first grown man purchase, bought an alpha starter, Girl and then man, realized, <laughs> I was like, I realized that the person that sold it, because LinkedIn was there, was the father of the CEO of Hasbro. <laughs> well, so crazy. So Gary Atkinson, if you see this, thank you for that uh, deck. <laughs> so ma Major Atkinson. So we actually communicated a couple times, and I bought, I bought a, a couple more from him. Um, so basically, have like the cleanest provenance. Decks yeah, have. that's pretty sick. Oh, yeah. Freaking so. straight from As well, Wizards back then, not even Hasbro. The, that's crazy. The problem is that I wanted to open them when I got promoted, but then when it got promoted finally after three years because of the whole mm -hmm. economy, the economy yep. crap, um, they were like already six grand. Mm. And I was like, well, six grand's a little bit harder to pull because if you get that lace and a rare island, like you're... That, that didn't pan out the for you. The rare so, uh, island. The rare island. Oh my god! And there's four of them in there. Mm -hmm. There's four of them in there. And uh, yeah, he even he even mentioned he's like, I hope you pull something good, but just to be warned, yeah, there's a, <laughs> there's alpha. Rat. Now he did say that if I pulled one that had the alpha or the island on the top, that uh, he would replace it. Cat, though, that's freaking he, unheard of, right he, there. He replace it because he said that's the only one that he does not have is a guaranteed island <sighs> rare. And uh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So for a while, I thought like maybe there's some secret that he knew there's a black lotus behind it or something. No, that's not the case. It's it's legit. He was being a good dude. Um, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's great. really cool. Uh, so another thing I wanted to ask you about was 
a couple of years ago. I'm not sure how many. You went to Europe and um, you had picked up another. I forget if it was alpha or beta pack, but uh, yeah, can you can tell us a little background about that. Sure. So I think you're referring to. I went to Belgium. Um, I, I went to to try to go to Car- out to Cardamundi in. Um, oh, really? That's what it was about. That, trying to check out Cardamundi. Yeah, I was okay. trying to go to Cardamundi, but there was a couple things that happened, and uh, at the time, kind of escaped. So in order to get there, it was like, oh, turnout is what, turnout is the name of the city turnout and um but it was like 45 miles from from where i was going to be and then with the fees and all that type of stuff and i didn't plan ahead because i was being stupid it's a trip man sometimes you can't make it (laughs) yeah yeah so i so i ended up going there and um i brought a a nine graded gai pack is this what you're referring to Yeah, Yeah. yeah 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 and i went ahead and i busted it there in uh brussels in Belgium, that was cool. Yeah, that was very sick. That's cool. European pack racking, and you know, like I said, this guy's crazy bringing all these packs to all these places. I'm so nervous when I'm pulling them, when I'm opening this stuff. Yeah. Even even the Weatherlight and Destiny pack today, <laughs> I'm shaking and sweating. You know, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I was guarding that thing in my book bag for a while. I, I was also worried that custom was going to be like, did you have anything that's over, you know, five thousand dollars or more? And it's like, right? I do. Like I'm, I'm bringing it in. I'm gonna probably reduce it down to a thousand dollars or less <laughs> and then i'm gonna um yeah i'm gonna try to bring back whatever i had but i actually ho- hit a dual end yeah that's so, pretty sweet and that's awesome. you can post my video you know oh me. repost yeah. it Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, re- that's good that's a good one yeah but yeah, yeah. man uh, all right so you know what? we're gonna wrap up we're gonna definitely be uh collaborating more especially now that you know caught up with each other and had a conversation so uh yeah, cool. look for more collaboration with uh, dual brain and dr dragon kick here Thanks for thanks for watching and uh, there'll be some good stuff to come. Awesome. So. All right. This is Ed for Dual Brain MTG and Nate for Dr. Dragon Kick and we are out. Peace take, out guys. Take care.